right, you guys. So today we'll be working with Chris Beauty, and you already know we put goodies in there: edge brush, extenders, combs, wig cap, flexi rods, all that good stuff. And the wig that I'm going to be working with is Body Wave. It's 20 inches and 200 density. So I'm just showing you guys the wig, the inside, nice construction. It got a, a lot of combs in there. Um, the knots you already know are tiny and i'm just showing you guys with the clips and stuff for the um elastic band but yeah like hairline beautiful as always so y'all already know about to freak it out freak it out <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be doing the skunk, the skunk stripe. So I just sectioned off where I want to bleach the hair. So I'm doing two skunk stripes. And y'all, <laughs> y'all already know how I am. I'm using the BW powder for the developer. And then I'm using the Kiss Titanium hair color in Chrisman. Chris, Chrisman? But it's like a reddish, burgundy color. Real cute. So... I'm just measuring out the bleach, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing, so bear with me. <laughs> but I put, like, three scoops of the powder, um, the BW2 powder, and then I pour, you know, a good amount of 4D developer. I just wanted to make it, like, a creamy consistency, not thick like I'm bleaching the knots because I'm not doing, I'm not installing the wig. I'm just coloring it. So yeah, I'm just mixing it up. Mix, mix, mix. And then it kind of looks dry, y'all, but I promise you it's not. <laughs> you know, just add a little bit more developer. Honestly, I was scared to do this, y'all. <laughs> so, um, I'm not the best at coloring. Please do not. Um, come for me if I'm not doing it properly that's just how I'm I'm doing it I looked at as many tutorials as I possibly can and this is the best that I come up with I just use of course like you need to section it off more but I just didn't feel like all that I just you know cast some aluminum foil and threw it on there and painted it on there and you know that's what I got. And then, uh, you know, a couple of times I would comb through it just to make sure I'm getting all the strands. But, y'all, it's just, it's a trial. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a test and trial here, okay? I'm pretty sure the more that I do this type of stuff, the better I will get. But, you know, for my first time really doing this type of dyeing technique, um, I think it came out pretty decent. Y'all see. So just take your time, but you do want to be fast because I'm using 40 developer, so it's changing the color. I don't know if I can kind of see. I'm so messy. And y'all don't do this in y'all room. I did it in my in my room because I had company over, and you know they had to use the bathroom and stuff. So I was like, fuck, I'm just doing my own room. And um. I, I did like the little put the developer on the um aluminum foil first so that the hair can stick. It's just so many ways. Like I looked at so many videos on how to color hair and y'all it's it's just one of those things. You just have to f figure out what's comfortable for you. And you know if you don't want to do it, you don't have to just get someone that's licensed to color it, but you know me, it's like I had a vision, so it's like I need to do it, you know. Just so I, at least if I mess it up, that's on me. But you know, when I have a vision, I just gotta say, fuck it. Even if you're not doing it, just figure it out. Or just explain to somebody the best way that you can. But yeah. But I think it came out pretty good. Y'all gonna see.
I'm doing a little roots touching up, girl. <laughs> Who do I think I am, yo? <laughs> All right, so right here, I'm checking it to see how it's coming as far as the color. Um, it ain't really giving me the color that I needed to give. So I just, you know, rub the product throughout the hair and just check to see like where the parts that need to be bleached some more. And eventually I add more and then I wrap it back up. Now, do I think this is the proper thing to do? I don't know. But that's what I did, and that's how I was able to get the lightness that I did get. So, yeah. You just got to, you know, eye it and whatnot. I'm trying to think if I remember how long I really left the bleach on there for. I swear it felt like hours, but at most, I think it was just an hour. So, I don't know if that's over bleaching. Um... But it worked for me. The hair is pretty good. So it's a strong hair. Like, I love Chris Beauty hair. Like, this is, like, the first um, hair company that I've ordered from. And every single unit has been consistent as far as quality and just hair texture and all that good stuff. Alright, so right now I'm rinsing the hair out. I mean, I'm rinsing, yeah, I'm rinsing the bleach out the hair. And y'all, like, I had, you know, once you blow it out, you really get to see the true color. So, once I washed it out, I did decide to, um, like, I blowed it back out and then I re-bleached the hair. So, I, in total, I say technically three times because, like, I did add more bleach on to, like, when I first bleached it. But then I washed that out and then blow dried it and then bleached it again. Because I just wanted it a little bit lighter. So, but it's like two times for real, for real. So, I'm just making sure I rinse out all the bleach. I feel like the lighter the blonde, the better the color is going to, like, you know, pick up. So, that's why. I, I mean, I could have colored it like that. But I felt like, hmm. It's too orangey brassy. And I could have used shimmering lights. Um, maybe to kind of remove some of that brassiness. But I was just like nah. Let me go a little bit deep. A little bit lighter. So I blowed it out. I didn't record that part. Because that was, that was a mess. And I'm sorry y'all for the back and forth. Because like I'm back and forth in my room. And in my bathroom. Because like I said I had company over. So... I was trying to be quick with this one. But yeah, y'all see the ends. They look crazy. <laughs> y'all, I'm never going to hold you. I was scared. I was like, I hope I don't overprocess this hair because the ends look crazy. But it didn't overprocess. It's just because I didn't add any like product to it. That's why it looks like that. But yeah. And I literally took the whole hair. Like, I should have sectioned it off again. We'll section it even better but i just was like i was tired and yeah so that's how the color finally came out when i bleached it the second time and i blow dried it out so yeah i like this color a lot better than the first color first color is very orange this color is giving a good blonde you know what i'm saying it's not as orangey brassy as the first time i bleached it so yeah so i'm just taking the brush and literally paint it on like i have no technique with this like i'm literally just cut like brushing it on like no technique i don't yeah <laughs> just trying to be really careful <clears throat> with the lace and stuff because like i don't want to you know dye the lace which i i would say i kind of did but i did get a little bit on the lace but you know my hairdresser she installed it so you can't even see it for real, for real. But yeah, y'all, I'm so, so, so happy with how the hair came out. I'm going to show you guys at the end of the video. But yeah, y'all, this is this is what I did. And it came out so cute.
I'm not even gonna lie, I was actually kind of scared to do this because for one, like, it's so different to like where I work. I'm used to like being basic and this isn't basic, but for some people it is. But for me, it's not like when it comes to color and I had to be really careful with the color because like I didn't want to do nothing too outrageous like um, pink or green or, or blue. Even though I wanted to, <laughs> I just did red. I feel like red is probably the like, okay, slap on the wrist type of color. It ain't gonna make too much of a big deal. No one has said anything to me yet. So I'm like, ooh, but yeah. I did the, the skunk stripe because at least I could cover it up a little bit more instead of it being like, bam, like all the way there. So, so right now I'm just like, just trying to rub the color in. And y'all like, I left the color in overnight. <laughs> I fell asleep like, yo, I don't know what I had. I had, so, I, I had something and that knocked me out. Okay. I woke up, I was like, oh shit, I left the color in. I was scared, y'all, because it was so stiff. Y'all gonna see in the video, it was so stiff. I was like, what the hell? I left the journal overnight. So, I want to say, I left the color in for like, <laughs> I, it got a bit like seven hours. <laughs> y'all don't have to leave it in for seven hours. Like, at most... Maybe like 45 minutes or an hour. If that. I don't even think that. But. Girl left my color in for like several hours. And that's probably why it's so damn bright. You know what I'm saying. Because I left it in for so long. Like the red really sticks out. Which I like though. I'm never going to hold you. Yo, who was I on the phone with? Oh, my mom. <laughs> Everybody kept calling me and bugging the shit out of me. Like, I hate this. Like, y'all know I'm trying to do something. And y'all keep fucking calling me, bothering me, asking me to do this, do that. Like, no. Like, I'm busy. Like, no. Like, do that be happening to y'all? Like, like, the moment you get some free time to really do the things that you want to do and you need to do, somebody always, like, bugging you. Like, y'all know I don't got no free time. Sorry, this is, like, a rant. <laughs> but, y'all, <laughs> this is, this is it, y'all. The way this hair came out, I'm so, so happy and super impressed. I'm super, like, just impressed. Like, when you really be determined to do something, you, you do it. And y'all, I don't have no experience in here. Like, I'm the, I'm probably the worst person to be doing any type of hair, even on a wig. I don't have no experience on hair, coloring, um, dyeing hair, bleaching hair. No experience. Don't like. I don't have no technique. I'm literally winging it with this hair coloring. I just try to be careful and just, you know, take my time and, you know, pace myself. And if I'm unsure, honestly, I'll just go on YouTube and see what I can find. Or if I make a mistake, I'll look and figure out how to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when y'all see this hair, yeah. So, yeah, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's real stiff because I left it in for so long. <laughs> Yo. I'm just washing it out. I'm just trying to make sure I get as much as the color, you know, the little rinse off as much as I can. But once I rinsed it off, I was like, okay, it's good. Because, like, at first I was scared. I was like, did I fuck up this hair? Because I, I would hate for it to be, like, stick, like, straw-like while everything else is all buttery smooth. <laughs> but when I rinsed it off and I used some little um, shampoo and conditioner, little mix, and I was good to go.
Yes, y'all. Look at the color. Stop playing with me. Like, what? Wow, girl. You want to something. And look at the It's like a peekaboo. Like, you see it, but it ain't like bam in your face. It's just so subtle. I love it. Hey everyone, so this is how the hair turned out, you guys. Um, I did not install this hair. Um, I got it professionally installed. Mind you, I've had this hair installed for like two weeks, so it's a little bit old. But I try to put it in this hairstyle so you guys can kind of see like how the scum stripes, ugh, how the scum stripes, uh, how the skunk stripes are looking. I honestly love, 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 love this hair. The hair curls nicely. I literally just curled it, but I've been wearing it straight. Um, that was a curl, but of course, you know, you gotta put product and stuff in it because this hair is body wave, so it can be straightened or curled or you know, crimped or whatever. But I just, you know, curled it a little bit here and there. But yeah, you guys, today is Halloween, so that's why I'm looking like a little gothic y ish. Like, I, I'm a gothic girl, like something like that. I don't know, y'all. I'm just trying to be in the trying to, I don't know, like, I realize I got older, I don't really be dressing up like that, but yeah. So, I hope you guys like the hair. Um, I want to post probably more videos and stuff of the hair. But, yeah, this is how the hair came out. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. Okay, like this video, share, and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, y'all. I'm not a hairstylist, but baby, wow. I actually really did that. It's super cute, y'all. Make sure y'all get this hair. Chris Beauty hair. See y'all. Green just like a grimmer, uh, got her fingers on me like itchy bitch, I feel dizzy, uh. This world shall know pain.